Good morning students welcome back to the biology class students we are discussing the chapter 5 kingdom classification in the previous session we learnt about classification system in which we discussed kingdom monera we discussed general characteristics of kingdom monera shapes of bacteria economical importance of bacteria and harmful aspects of bacteria today we will discuss kingdom protista in detail so here are basic characteristics of kingdom protista kingdom protista consist of unicellular organisms means that organisms in this kingdom they are single celled they have well defined nucleus and cell organelles are present well defined nucleus means that these organisms are eukaryotes the mode of nutrition is either autotrophic or heterotrophic students some of the protists are plant like that is they can make their own food and the mode of nutrition is autotrophic they are referred as algae some of protists are animal like that is they cannot make their own food and their mode of nutrition is heterotrophic they are referred as protozoans so plant like protists are referred as algae and animal like protists are referred as protozoans here you can see the examples showing protozoan and algae so today we are going to study a protozoan amoeba which lives in fresh water so students we can see here the structure of amoeba Amoeba has a cell membrane cytoplasm filled in and a nucleus a variety of inclusions are also present in cytoplasm the cell membrane of amoeba is flexible and allows it to change its shape so uh, amoeba is irregular in shape There are two types of cytoplasm in amoeba. Ectoplasm which is near the surface near the cell membrane and endoplasm which is present towards the interior of amoeba. A large disk shaped nucleus is present in the cell. The contractile vacuole present in amoeba carries out osmoregulation. osmoregulation is the process by which water salt concentration in an organism is maintained food is taken into cytoplasm forming a food vacuole amoeba moves by stretching its cytoplasm into finger like extension called pseudopodia or false foot students in this slide you can observe the locomotion in amoeba when amoeba is to move first ectoplasm extends and then endoplasm moves in forming a pseudopodia you can see formation of pseudopodia over here so the type of locomotion in amoeba is also known as amoeboid movement This slide shows nutrition in amoeba. When amoeba senses food, the endoplasm is pushed towards the cell membrane. The body extends and form food vacuole. The cytoplasm secretes digestive juices which digest the engulfed food particle. Now we see how respiration in amoeba takes place respiration in amoeba takes place through simple process of diffusion oxygen diffuses in and carbon dioxide diffuses out 
so this diffusion is carried out through cell membrane reproduction in case of amoeba takes place by two ways binary fission and multiple fission in binary fission first nucleus of cell divides into two and after that cytoplasm also divides it gives rise to two daughter cells which are exact copies of their parent cell this slide is showing multiple fission when conditions are unfavorable amoeba secretes a hard covering called cyst around itself the nucleus divide repeatedly to form many nuclei this is followed by division of cytoplasm and this form many daughter cells inside the parent amoeba or we can say inside the cyst when favorable conditions return cyst burst releasing the enclosed daughter cells so in this way one amoeba is producing multiple daughter cells hence we say multiple fission is there so students in today's class we discussed about kingdom protista in which we discussed structure of amoeba locomotion in amoeba respiration in amoeba nutrition in amoeba and reproduction in amoeba i hope you have understood and enjoyed today's lesson i'll be sending you a worksheet related to the chapter so till then stay safe and take a very good care of yourself thank you